My name is Paula Yost and I work in the finance department here at Teen Missions. I've been here for 20 years and spent most of my time in that department. Um, mostly what I do is I help process the summer contributions for our missionaries, summer missionaries, and I help um, audit the overseas finances, and I also do some accounting. Um, it's a lot of behind the scenes work, and I do the best that I can to help people. Um, and not unlike the, gentle, the men in this um, picture behind me. And um, sometimes it's easy to get busy doing things and you forget why you're doing them and who you're doing them for. Um, and so that's a real danger. I've also been studying in the book of Revelation for the last couple of months and I was really struck by the message to the church in Ephesus. That's found in Revelation chapter 2 verses 1 to 7 and I'd like to read verses 2 to 6 or 2 to 5 right now. It says, I know what you have been doing, how hard you have worked, how you have persevered, and how you can't stand wicked people. So you tested those who called themselves apostles but aren't, and you found them to be liars. You are persevering, and you have suffered for my sake without growing weary. But I have this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Therefore, remember where you were before you fell. Turn from this sin and do what you used to do before. It's important to remember why we do what we do and who we're doing it for. And as I said earlier, it is easy to get caught up in doing things and forget why you're doing them. You can get too busy doing, you can get busy doing the business of God that you forget about God. So this was a real wake up call for me. I got to thinking about all the, um, how I felt when I was a new Christian and how excited I was about the things I was learning. And then I like to be around new Christians because they're excited. Um, they're, they're real interested in learning more about God and they're happy to tell you about what they're learning. And then I remembered also about when I fell in love, how I felt. That person that I was in love with, um, I thought about him all the time. I was excited. I wanted to tell everybody about him. And that's the way I should be about Jesus too. So this was a good reminder to me and a wake up call to remember that I need to not forget my first love, that I need to remember Jesus and that he needs to be in the forefront of everything that I do. Thank you.